Hello, welcome back. This is Kristen on our journey through the Bible, one chapter at a time. We are, well, they are finally building the tabernacle, putting together each to the detail, every piece of furniture, every lampstand, everything God has asked. He has let them know precisely what he wants, how to do it, what to do it with. And we are at the court of the tabernacle in Exodus chapter 38 today. Let's jump right in. Thanks for joining me. Appreciate you being here. I am reading the New King James Version if you want to read along in the Bible with me. So let's get to it. He made the altar of burnt offering of acacia wood. Five cubits was its length, and five cubits its width. It was square, and its height was three cubits. He made its horns on its four corners. The horns were of one piece with it, and he overlaid it with bronze. He made all the utensils for the altar, the pans, the shovels, the basins, the forks, and the fire, pan, fire pans, all its utensils he made of bronze and he made a grate of bronze network for the altar under its rim midway from the bottom he cast four rings four corners of the bronze grating as holders for the poles and he made the poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with bronze then he put the poles into the rings on the sides of the altar with which to bear it. He made the altar hollow with boards. He made the laver of bronze and its base of bronze from the bronze mirrors of the serving women who assembled at the door of the tabernacle of the meeting. Amazing, he got women to give up their mirrors. <laughs> then he made the court on the south side the hangings of the court were of fine woven linen, 100 cubits long. There were 20 pillars for them with 20 bronze sockets. The hooks of the pillars and their bands were silver. On the north side of the hangings were 100 cubits long with 20 pillars and their 20 bronze sockets. The hooks of the pillars and their bands were silver. And on the west side, there were hangings of 50 cubits with 10 pillars and their 10 sockets. The hooks of the pillars and their bands were silver. For the east side, the hanging were 50 cubits. The hangings of one side of the gate were 15 cubits long with their three pillars and their three sockets. And the same for the other side of the court gate on this side and that were hangings of 50, 15 cubits with their three pillars and their three sockets. All the hangings of the court all around were fine woven linen. The sockets for the pillars were bronze. The hooks of the pillars and the, <clears throat> excuse me, and their bands were silver and the overlay of the capitals were silver and all the court was woven of blue, purple, and scarlet thread and of fine woven linen. The length was 20 cubits and the height along its width was five cubits corresponding to the hangings of the court. And there were four pillars and their four sockets of bronze. Their hooks were silver and the overlay of their capitals of their bands were silver and all the pegs of the tabernacle and of the court all around were also bronze. This is the inventory of the tabernacle, the tabernacle of the testimony, which was counted according to the commandment of Moses for the service of the Levites by the hand of the Ithamar, son of Aaron, the priest. Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, and the tribe of Judah made all that the Lord had commanded Moses. And with him 
was Aholiab, the son of Ahishamath and of the tribe of Dan, an engraver and designer, a weaver of blue, purple, and scarlet thread and of fine linen. All of the gold that was used in all the work of the holy place, that is the gold of the offering was 29 talents and 730 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. And the silver from those who were numbered of the congregation was 100 talents and 1,775 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. A becca for each man that is a half a shekel, according to the shekel of the sanctuary for everyone included in the numbering from 20 years old and above for 630 or and 3550 men and from the 100 talents of silver were cast the sockets of the sanctuary and the bases of the veil 100 sockets from the 100 talents one talent for each socket and then from 1,775 shekels, he made hooks for the pillars, overlaid their capitals, and made bands for them. The offering of bronze was 70 talents and 2,400 shekels. And with it, he made the sockets for the door of the tabernacle of meeting. The bronze altar, the bronze grating for it, and all the utensils for the altar, the sockets for the court all around, the bases for the court gate, all the pegs for the tabernacle, and all the pegs for the court all around. Wow! Boy, who could have figured all that out? <laughs> Pretty easy for God, I'm sure. He had it all laid out. Amazing! And, you know, we go through all these just, you know, research and this and that, trying to figure things out and put them all together. But piece of cake for God. He knows. He's got it down. Not a problem. All we got to do is have a little faith, right? And trust in him. Oh my goodness. So much interesting information. And I mean, can you picture it in your head? Can you start picturing things? I can. We are going to make the priesthood garments tomorrow. Well, in chapter 39 of Exodus. So come on back and join me. God bless.